Well, here we are. It is winter in Edmonton once again. Between the cold weather, horrible snowy roads that I don't want to drive on, expensive gas prices, and of course the good old PhD keeping me busy, I've submitted a grand total of two checklists in the entire month of December as the day is being recorded. It's been a bit of a slow month, and look, I'm not going to be negative the whole time, but let's face it, central Alberta is not exactly the ideal destination for wintering birds. You might think that the cold is really the main thing keeping them away, but actually, uh, for me, and at least in my opinion, the big deal is the lack of open water. Like, every river's frozen, every lake is frozen. That's going to go ahead and pretty much prevent a very large portion of birds from being able to hang around. Additionally, the entire landscape is covered in snow. Like, everything is white. It's, it's not hard to see that looking outside, and as a result of that, many birds, especially bigger birds, have trouble camouflaging themselves. To blend in in this environment, a bird would need to be entirely white from bill to tail. However, quite possibly the most important thing keeping the birds away is the fact that you are not subscribed to Birding But Cool on YouTube, and you need to change that right now. Click the little red subscribe button right there, and if you want to see when I upload, you can click the bell next to the subscribe button, and you will be notified. If you do that, you'll be able to know as soon as a Birding But Cool video graces the internet, whenever that may be. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. Let's get back into it. Today's video takes us to the Canadian Rockies of Alberta. As much as many people would tout the Rockies as the highlight of visiting the province, it's still the first time that they appear on a Birding But Cool video. We were here at a bit of an unconventional time, at least for non-skiers. And uh, despite the horrible road conditions and disgusting wintry mix at lower elevations, we finally got what we wanted by driving up and getting into the snowy areas. We finally arrived at Highwood Pass in Peter Lougheed Provincial Park, where our target bird for the day was lying in wait. Good morning. Welcome to Birding But Cool. We are here at Highwood Pass, Kananaskis, Peter Lougheed Provincial Park. The weather is disgusting, but there's a reason for that. The snow has to be really high on the ground. It's gotta be white because this bird is also white. We are here looking for a very specific species. There's only like five different types of bird we can find here at this time of year, but one of them is very special and it's called the white-tailed ptarmigan, the snow chicken. They, they are actually in the frame right now, but they're just so gosh darn white, in fact, that they are rather hard to see. But we, if we zoom in here, it may be possible. There are two of them right here. I'm looking at them with my naked eyes right now. I need to get out of the way. There they are right there, two white-tailed ptarmigans. There are three different types of ptarmigan, and this is the only one with a white tail making them the whitest bird on planet Earth, at least in my opinion. No, these are more white, I think. White terns have like bigger bills, so more of them is like dark. What an absolutely beautiful little bird. Almost all the way white, except for maybe a few of those feathers on the bird's neck. The white-tailed ptarmigan blends in beautifully with the snow, and it took us a couple minutes to see this bird, even though it was right in front of us. It was an awesome experience and the little pair of ptarmigans showed really well and allowed me to get a bunch of footage. You can see its feet. Look at how much feathering there is. Lagopus leucura. Scientific name means rabbit's foot. I knew that actually. Just like rough-legged hawk, Budio lagopus. Whoa! Sorry about the video cutting there. I was I was just, I was so astonished and amazed that a bird would fly. Uh, how crazy is that? See, the ptarmigan in the summertime molt to blend in with the alpine conditions where it's very rocky, gray and brown. This time of year, they're mostly white to blend in with the alpine conditions of the snow. If they don't time this molt perfectly, they'll get caught out in the bad conditions. So it's very important that they follow the, the ridge and follow the snow at the perfect time. 
it's been a bit of a warm fall this year in the Canadian Rockies. So they're down a bit later than they maybe have been in the past, but they're here now and they're just about all the way in their winter plumage where they're completely white. You can see sometimes they like break the snow and fall. It's the cutest thing. Most of the time they just stand up. Oh, he just did it. He just like broke through. It's always when he when he picks up his other foot. Or her other foot, I suppose. Look at those feet. This lady's having an absolute time for life making all this noise. Hopefully the camera doesn't pick that up. Well, the camera may have picked it up a bit, but that's okay. Because we were having the time of our lives looking at this ptarmigan. And this ptarmigan was also having the time of its life flopping around. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed a video about this incredibly unique and special bird. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun watching these ptarmigans, and hopefully if you live near the mountains, maybe this will inspire you to go up and look for them. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe even comment as well. Oh, did you just, did the, did the ptarmigan just interrupt my subscriber call by pooping on screen? Oh, I literally made a whole video big in this thing. Anyway, um, folks, that's going to be it for today. Goodbye. That's all I have.